Greetings, greetings to you all saints in FIG, Faith in God Ministries International, and those who are watching globally. Uh, welcome to the Faith in God International Missions Corner. Allow me, before I go ahead, to honor and acknowledge the presence of our father, Archbishop Dr. Asa Gurupira, and our mother, Apostle Mavis Gurupira, uh, and to appreciate them for this great vision and um, to uh, appreciate them for grooming us. We are who we are today because they have molded us and they have made us through the Equipping the Saints Conference. It is with great joy that I stand here thanking you all, Faith in God Ministries International, assemblies that have faithfully contributed towards 2020 SWIMO. It is this individual contribution that is marshaled to a collective effort. No single one is stronger as all of us together. A special mention to our partners who without compulsion chose to financially support missions work in such an environment that is full of uncertainties. The vision is massive and it calls for servants like you who are selfless and sacrificial. We are the custodians of the only message that guarantees the salvation of men and can change the world. Therefore, we need to be faithful to the great commission which was entrusted to you and me. I do recognize and applaud your great effort without which missions was going to be a mammoth task. May your love for Christ continue and may your love for Christ that could not be constricted by the prevailing harsh economic environment, receive its due reward from the God of heaven. It is my hope and expectation that we will continue to see your treasured support in the coming years as we build chapels and houses for our missionaries. I hope you are finding it a great joy as we do being part of those laboring in the Lord's vineyard. Thank you all. Gracias, Yawonga, Tinotenda, Asante Sand. I would want to take this moment now to welcome the visionary of this great work, uh, our father, Archbishop Dr. Asa Gurupira. Can we put our hands together as we welcome him to the podium? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Uh, it has been a great conference, and uh, to round it up like this, it's, uh, it fills my heart with so much joy. Mavis and I are so grateful to the Lord for allowing us to pass through this conference, which is setting a pace for the future. And so um, I would want to thank God as I come to the missions corner. Thank God uh, for allowing us to go this far and be able to now to start to do concrete things concerning missions. We must never forget that uh, the vision of Faith in God Ministries is within the Great Commission. And the Great Commission is very clear. Go and make disciples of all nations. Go and make disciples of all nations. And I want to say to you that it's impossible without your support out there as we stand out to support this particular part of our vision, which is, to me, the front line of Faith in God Ministries, because we are a goy ministry. So we will do the buildings, uh, edifices, and everything else, but this institution of missionary work going out there, I would want to call it an institution too, but because it has to have order, as we go out and it must be resourced and resourced very well. So I want to thank God for missionary director and uh, thank God also for my dear wife, Mavis, standing by me concerning this particular part of the vision. And I want to thank God for all the generals, the overseers, all the district pastors, all the bishops, and, uh, and, and all the pastors who are holding forth concerning this great vision especially the issue of going out 
with the word of God into nations of the world. And so I want you to know at this juncture we have come now as a ministry. It's now calling for us to build strong institutions that support the work of God, especially in this area of missions. And uh, I want to thank God for uh, our sons and daughters who are starting to realize, ah, this is the backbone of the ministry. Go ye. And uh, this is the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ. We will have done nothing really that pleases the Father if we don't touch seriously this issue of going with the gospel to the lost. And I want you to know that I hold very dearly this ministry of missions. I hold it very dearly. And that's exactly where we are going. We are going into nations of the world and it needs the support of everyone. I believe this is where the blessing of anyone who wants to stretch out lies. This is where you will never fail. And so we, as we come to this um, ceremony where we are appreciating uh, four of our sons and daughters who contributed towards uh, missions in what we call SWIMO, uh, second week missions offering every, every month. Uh, there are those who excelled and did well. I know in future we are trying to make sure that uh, they will, we will also reward those who are consistent. But in this juncture in 2020, we say we, we are going to appreciate those who have really fought, fought very hard and uh, contributed high. And so and we are also going to appreciate those who are uh, the churches that have excelled, four of them. I know there are many who have done well. God bless you so much. The missions director informed me they could only do for four. And so we leave this time for that. As uh, the names are being called, we want Mama to give uh, certificates and also appreciation to our hardworking sons and daughters who are stretching out in the mission field. So I'll hand over the mic to the missions director and also... If anyone is coming to be a pre you, you have to use this side, you gotta come this side the steps. God bless you. Thank you so much. We now want to call upon the individuals who partnered with missions. We start from number four. We call upon Faith Gorekore. Please come forward as we appreciate you for standing with missions going out of your way. The third one is Mr. Mazinde of Marondera. We will appreciate him in absentia. Let's just put our hands together. And then we come to the second one, Mr. Robson Gorekore, whom we are also appreciating with a small token of appreciation. Thank you so much for standing with missions. We do appreciate. Now we come to the first position, which is Mr. Mulele, whom we are appreciating with a small token and a certificate. Hallelujah. We now move on to the assemblies that went out of their way and ran the vision as pronounced by our father and our mother. We start with the fourth position. We are just appreciating and mentioning them. It's Eagle Life Center, who actually came up with 30,647.98. Thirty yes, we are appreciating them in absentia. We come to the third position. We would want to appreciate the Tabernacle of David, where the missions director resides, who actually came up with about 49,008.75. We are appreciating them with a certificate. 
uh, apparently she's the same person talking. So I'll receive my certificates. And then the second position, we've got the cave of Adulam. And we'll kindly ask Noah to come in and stand on behalf of cave of Adulam and receive a certificate. Cave of Adulam raised 64,999.00. We now come to the first position. The first position goes to none other than world of love. <laughs> Where the root of the vision is. World of love came up with 148,848.70 towards swimming. We are appreciating them with the biggest cake and their certificates. Um, Lily, did you get your cake? Thank you. Thank you. Let me hand over the mic to our father now. All right. I would, I would ask all of those who are here just to come in front. I want to pray for you uh, for our future. Just stand in front here. Uh, the blessing of the Lord will continue to be upon your life, in your endeavors, in your businesses. May God bless you. I'm praying for you and those who are not here the assemblies that are represented here, individuals uh, also who are not here, I'm praying for you. I know you will do better, even more than what you've done today. I know you are going to rise up. Let's just pray. Father God, we want to thank you. Thank you for the heart that you have from the beginning, that day when you said it is finished on the cross of Calvary. And Lord, when you did that, you were thirsting for souls. And Lord, we are here to respond to your call. And we want to thank you, Father, for allowing and moving the hearts of our children, those who have labored. Some are not here. Some are not among the four positions, but they have worked and worked hard. I bless each and every one of them. And Lord, I pray that you expand, extend their territories, give them their world of influence in the name of Jesus. I bless our children. I pray that whatever they touch in this coming season, that it will be established in the name of Jesus. This is a season of consolidation that you are giving us spanning to 2030. And Lord, I pray that whatever they lay their hands on, it will be established. It will be consolidated in the name of Jesus. I bless each and every one of them. And I bless the pastors uh, who are representing the assemblies. I pray, Master, that they will continue on to do even better. And I pray for those who have not done much, I pray, Master, that you will allow them by your spirit move their hearts so that they will participate heavily in this coming year. We thank you, Father. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, peace that surpasses understanding, be with you now and forevermore. You shall not die. You live to declare the works of the Lord and the goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen.